This is the Epic Whistler. It's a mid-drive bike. And I'm gonna jump right in and tell you a little bit about the specs and talk about how it rides. So that motor right there, just below the bottom bracket, is a 350 watt geared motor that senses your pedal cadence, basically, as you're pedaling along, will kick in with five modes of pedal assist. And what I really love about it is you've also got like a thumb throttle, so at any time you can just you can just juice it. Maybe you're at a light or something like that and you want to get a little, little bit of extra boost. The benefit of having a mid-drive system like this is that it kind of keeps the bike more balanced from front to rear. It makes changing tires and servicing it a lot easier. Um, and I guess shorter cables too, like check that out. The battery here is 37 volts of power, 8.8 .8 amp hour. So, you know, that's decent and I love how it's mounted low to the ground on this frame. It does take up space where your water bottles might go, so you have to get like a seat rack or camelback or something like that. But it also means you can you can uh, charge this inside. You don't need to leave it on, on, on the bike or whatever. You can just take it off, take it up to the office, something like that, which is really nice. So this, this bike has kind of a lot of the, the common features you'd expect in an all around, maybe like a rental bike or maybe a first electric bike. You got your fenders, front and rear. You've got a shock. It's a very basic shock. It's got some preload adjustment, but there's no lockout or anything. You got a bell. You got eight speeds. And here we've got this Shimano Alivio. Check that out on the chain ring. Front and rear disc brakes, which is always welcome when you're riding a heavier bike such as this. But again, for electric bikes, this is just under 50 pounds. It's a $1,900 bike, and again, available primarily in Canada, but they're looking to expand to the US. Nice kickstand and stuff. And an adjustable neck up here. So, you know, I've actually seen very similar LCDs to this before where you can change the mode on the fly. It all works okay. You know, it's, it's sort of entry-level stuff. Um, again, the positioning of the battery and motor makes sense, but the battery or the motor itself isn't that impressive. It kind of whines, it's sort of loud. The pedals, when you turn the cranks, they're like a little bit, they, they don't feel like perfectly even. It feels like they kind of like go like this a little bit, which is, is a little bit annoying. Also, um, you can see here that the motor pulls on the chain, so that's probably gonna wear the chain out more quickly over time. And in fact, now you're sort of bringing in whatever gear you're pedaling with, and that's gonna impact how the motor performs, okay? So to really maximize your speed and get like 20 mile per hour top speed, you've gotta be in, in that harder gear, which means that your pedal cadence might change. You're not necessarily gonna have like a super fast cadence like these guys where you're like pedaling really fast, that kind of thing. Um, so I guess keep that in mind. This bike works, it gets the job done, but you know it's not quite as satisfying as some of the other bikes and there are benefits to hub motors being that it just it sort of goes at its own speed and helps you and it keeps it separate from pedaling and saves the chain but again the drawback is it makes it harder to get get that tire off for servicing and stuff so i'm gonna hop on this and you can just hear what the motor sounds like when i gun it So you get the point. It gets the job done, it gets you going, but it's it's a little it's a little noisier and as you change gears like the amount of um, support that the motor provides sort of changes because again you're you're gearing it differently and the motor is seems like this sort of steadier output versus more variable um, like like a hub motor. So that's the epic whistler. Check it out for the full written review and more pictures and stuff. Check out electricbikereview.com. I'll see you there.